Hey, and thank you. Well, reduce, reuse, recycle. We've all heard the phrase before to help keep our environment clean and keep unnecessary waste from our landfills. Here to talk more about Resource Depot and how it's turning, you all call it waste into wonders. I love that phrase. Andrea Trainer is here and Mary Glazier. So good morning to both of you. Talk to me a little bit about the Resource Depot for people who aren't aware of what you all do. Sure, um, thank you for having us. Uh, so yeah, Resource Depot is a creative reuse center. Okay. Basically all that means is that we take in donations from the public that may have otherwise ended up in the landfill uh, redistribute them for a fraction of the cost so that uh, teachers, artists, students, anybody that still sees values in these in these objects um, can either use them as intended or upcycle them into something even better. And Andrea, speaking about upcycling, you have an <laughs> upcycle weekend coming up. Mary, you're a part of that. We'll get to that in a second. <laughs> but tell us about this upcycle weekend, a fun, a fun activity. Yeah, so upcycle day is uh, basically a culmination of what we do year round, uh, but it gives us an opportunity to bring in local makers and artisans that are uh, upcycling and using sustainable practices in their business. Mm -hmm. um, and so it gives the, the community ways uh, to connect with them and to learn how to use everyday objects that you probably already have at home uh, and to turn them into products that you can use instead of going out and buying those products. Yeah. But if you do buy them, buy them local from our makers that are, okay. are, are using them. And speaking of makers, let's talk about this, Mary. How do you take things like this and recycle them. Look, I sometimes have little cartons of yogurt. I'm like, I wish I could do something with it, you know, yeah. instead of throwing it away. But what do you specialize in? Yes, so I am a collage artist that I mostly use different magazines, books, resources, textiles to create art. Um, and so you'll see to our right yeah. that um, even the frame was recycled from Resource Depot. Um, and there's always such one-of-a-kind pieces to mm -hmm. create out of their space. Okay, I feel like a lot of times people, like I said, they have these things in their homes, they don't want to throw them away, but they don't know what to do with them, right? Mm -hmm. They have a question there, how, how can I upcycle this? So what do you have here? What is this made out of, for example? It's like a bow. So these are some of the um, makers that we're going to have at um, Upcycle Day. Um, this particular artist found an uh, unwanted duffel bag that we had in our material okay. marketplace, and you know, that bird her love of uh, leather crafting. So we're going to have her come and show folks that it really is just that simple to pick up a new hobby. Uh, we have another uh, maker that uh, uses uh, linens that were found at, at various thrift yeah. stores and, and turns them into uh, usable cocktail napkins. We're going to have junk journals and patches and buttons cool. and a plethora of, of swag to take home. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so this is happening September 8th, correct? Correct. Tell us more about the event. So if people want to come, we see tickets are $45. What else do you want to tell people who are looking to come? Right, so we've got two different days. Friday is more of uh, just like a mingle with makers. Uh, you're going to have live demos and sampling. Uh, those tickets are $45. Saturday is more of a like roll up your sleeves and okay. learn um, some skills. Those tickets are $75. Of course, you don't have to choose. You can make a whole weekend of it. $105, you're going to take home all of the things. All right, and Mary, you'll be there. Are you part of the workshops? I know there's a workshop happening. Yes, so okay. I'll be doing a collage workshop on Saturday. Is there one thing you want to leave people with as you do this just about every day? What, what is a simple way people can learn how to upcycle? Um, I think being able to take account of the resources you already have and get curious and creative about how you can use that again without wasting yeah. it. I love it. All yeah. right. Well, if anything, it gets people thinking, right? It gets yeah. people thinking on how to take everyday items and put them to good use. Look, we thank you so much for coming by. I hope a lot of people come out to your event. Thank, thank you so much. All right. Absolutely. We will be right back after this break.